Hello everyone, my name is Prakash Mithani and today I'm going to talk about how to customize your SharePoint list library using JSLink or CSR. So what is CSR or JSLink is, it is client-side rendering that is <coughs> developed in JavaScript and it is introduced in SharePoint 2013 as to perform out-of-the-box functionalities for your list. And uh, uh, there is a lot of things you can perform using JSLink like you can create your accordion over there you can create your tabbing over there you can create your progress bar over there so in this section I'm gonna create a progress bar in place of this percent complete section so this is my task list and I've you know created two tasks here and the status of my task is 30% complete and 100% complete so right now it's showing in a number format and what I want that it should be coming up in a progress bar form so for that purpose I have to create a custom JavaScript code using JS link so that is my code is here so I'll explain you that how I've done it and how you can do it so I've created a function here and <coughs> I've initialized a variable to overwrite the object <coughs> that is overwrite ctx and after that I have created overwrite ctx dot template that is you know overriding my templates uh, that is basically my this task list because I'm gonna include that JavaScript code in this particular task list so it will take this task list as a template and after that I have <coughs> created a override ctx dot template dot fields to override this particular field field means a column name and so in this case my column name is person complete so I'm just overriding my template field and which field I'm overriding is that is my percent complete field and I'm creating a view in that particular column and I'm defining the property of that particular column and after that once it is done I'll be calling this particular override ctx variable to override <coughs> the field in that particular section so uh, sp client template dot template manager dot register template override and inside that I'm just overriding override ctx variable so I'm just overriding this particular section with override ctx variable and what I've done in override ctx variable I've put it these <coughs> functionality so you can do it by yourself or you can just google it js link you'll be able to find this lot of stuff and you can study what is the exact syntax of your uh, js link so basically there is a predefined sub template classes and the syntax of js link you can just read about that so this is very simple and after that I have done it I'll just deploy my code to <coughs> one of my uh, library that is my web part library so I've already included if you want to include you can just drag and drop your JS file if it is already there you have to just replace it once it is replaced go to your task list now edit your page go to web part view and now add this web part and under the miscellaneous section there is a, a js link section that means there is already a link created for js link uh, you have to just put your js link file reference progress.js file here and your code will start working and uh, one thing uh, to notice is here that uh, I'm currently working on a team site so uh, to create a path for team site I have to just pull tilde sign here and just type site collection uh, there is a path already coming up there site collection under that there is a web part this is my web part library what I have created and under that there is my progress.js file I have put it there so just have to enter and click OK and just click on stop editing the page so now you can see that uh, the changes is uh, reflecting there instead of number in a person complete now my status bar is coming and progress bar is coming up there so this is the cool functionality we can perform using JS link and you can do a lot of stuff in JS link you can create a coding you can create tabbing you can customize your form you can create fully customized form using JS link so there is a lot of stuff to learn about that so in this section uh, this is all from my end and in the next section I'll be talking about how to create a code in JSLink. So thank you so much.